Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This video is an overview of one of the chapters in my course, Mastering the SharePoint Framework, that's available for uh, purchase on my site, Voitanos.io. This overview video is going to give you an idea of everything that the chapter uh, covers. You can learn more by checking out the description uh, in the notes below the video. Um, if you got any questions about this chapter or about the course in general, just make sure you drop a comment uh, below in, in the uh, below the video and I'll be sure to get back to you. So with that, let me get out of the way. Enjoy the overview to this chapter. Hello and welcome back to my course on Mastering the SharePoint Framework. Now in this chapter, we're gonna create our very first SharePoint Framework web part project and we're gonna see it work. Now the goal of this is to get a quick win, not to spend a ton of time on theory explaining how everything works. Remember that first time you learned how to drive or write your first Hello World program? Well, hopefully your teacher didn't explain what compilers were, how your code was being converted down to ones and zeros so the computer could understand it. Instead, they told you what to do, you did it, and you saw Hello World show up on that black screen. Now that's what we're gonna do in this chapter. I've got plenty of other chapters throughout this course that are gonna go much deeper and explain how everything works. So what we'll do is we're gonna create a web part, we're gonna get up and running in our developer environment. And then we're gonna start making a couple changes to the web part and pick through some of the code so that you can understand what's going on. And then finally, we're gonna package up our web part and we're gonna deploy it so we can see the full process. And this way, you'll see the full experience for creating, testing, and debugging, and then deploying a web part into production. Before we get rolling, I wanna mention something about what you're gonna see in this chapter. The SharePoint framework is supported both in SharePoint Online as well as multiple SharePoint Server on-premises versions, going all the way back to SharePoint Server 2016. Now in the next chapter, I'm gonna dig into the differences between the different environments. But in this lesson, I'm gonna assume that you're using SharePoint Online and the latest version of the SharePoint framework that's available to you. The version of the SharePoint framework that I'm using in the recording might not be the latest version that's available, so check the lesson notes for any updates or comments that may affect this recording. And if Microsoft releases a new version that's dramatically different than what you see here, I'll update the lesson video. One more thing. Let me address one thing that before we get started with this chapter. The creation of a new SharePoint Framework project using the Yeoman Generator for SharePoint Framework has changed multiple times over the years since the SharePoint Framework was very first introduced. Some of the questions have no impact on the project, such as the name or the description of your component, while others do. Now, in addition, the prompts that you'll see, they're gonna depend on when you run the generator, what kind of a component you're creating, or if you're creating a solution for an on-premises version of SharePoint, or if you're using SharePoint Online. But like I said, in this lesson, I'm not gonna go through all the aspects of creating a project. Instead, just like the last topic, I'm gonna to cover that in the next chapter on digging into the SharePoint framework. Okay, with all that covered, let's go ahead and get started with this chapter. So I'm gonna see you in the next lesson.